Just wanna do weird things. Uh, anyway, hello everybody. We are back tonight, and today we're going back and trying a little blue-black mid-range. Um, my goal for the next couple days is to try like a league with blue-black mid-range, try a league with um, the Brad Nelson Esper Control, try a league with maybe Approach, and maybe try Mono Red again or Snakes again in no particular order. Um, but those, those are the decks I'm considering over the next couple days. Obviously, if you want to see something not on that list, kick suggestions to my Twitter account. Links are below the stream and in the YouTube videos. Anyway, so I kind of think this deck's fairly well positioned at the moment. Um, I think it gets smashed by the control decks pre-board, but like I love its sideboard package versus them. Um, but I think it's one of the most reasonable decks that can beat both control and the red decks. Now, the, the one thing about the blue-black decks is they are moderately skill intensive. So like you can lose games or be giving away percentages and not even notice it. And they are kind of like intricate, like you may not understand that you're even making the wrong play, like even... Even putting the wrong land in play at the wrong time can cause some problems. So I don't expect to have nearly any of the success that Ginger does. But Ginger's ran up to 16 trophies now. He's been primarily working on this deck for the last couple of weeks. And I, I think it's just like in a good spot in the meta. I have no idea why it's not really showing results off, off Modo. Maybe I'm just wrong. But, uh, yeah. I think Scarab God is exceptionally powerful. I think Contempt, Fatal Push, Cast Sound, and Nevers are all very powerful right now. Um, the weakest card I think in this list is actually Champion of Wits at the moment, but just just being able to like find a few cards, especially in the non chain whirler matches, like feels like they can do a whole lot of things. Um, unfortunately, I do not have Ginger Cyborg Guide, so we'll be doing a lot of guessing and stuff. Um, we will be, quote-unquote, playing it by ear. My friend told me the cues were exceptionally long tonight. I hope he is incorrect. Oh, we got a queue pretty quick. He was in queue two or three or four minutes on a bunch of different occasions and couldn't get one. Um, easily keep this hand. It's a little light on mana, but as anybody who's ever watched me stream knows, every hand that we ever get in a million years will be light on mana or we'll have every mana in the deck. But we have a good removal spell. We have a Glenny boy. Um... That's unfortunate. I have a second Glenny Boy. That's kind of nice. Have to mute for a second. Somebody's walking through my home. Rip. Think I'm supposed to play this one? And hope they don't have the second removal spell. And they do. That's a little unfortunate. So some versions of this deck actually have syncopate in it. So I actually think I am just going to cast a champion. Uh, or play the land before I play the champion. Just to try to play around that. Mm. Q 
kind of interesting. I actually don't think this card is very good here. I don't think the Fatal Push is very good here either, though. Guess I'll grab those two, then. Well, wow. okay, so they don't have anything. Frames seem like they're doing okay. That's nice. Alright, well they're missing lands again, which means they have seven spells, and whenever they get out of this little land rut, it's going to be uh, pretty bad for us. So bad for us, I uh, don't think that I'm going to try to play around a counterspell with this Scarab God. I think I'm just going to jimity jam it and hope that they don't have a counterspell. Most of these builds only play like two to four counter spells, so there's a decent chance that there's not one. And I could have waited and like tried to play it on a later turn, but then they just have Verasco's Contempt Mana and stuff like that, and I really want it just to leverage you to win if they didn't have the counter spell. I think I'm actually going to cycle this pools. They're pretty unlikely to kill my bro anyway. And we have a scatter. We have two scatters now. Alright, so they're going to have to find a removal spell probably. We have three counter spells. Oh, they're playing Esper. So they're just playing like Esper Control, and I thought they were playing a different deck. These Essence Scatters are going to end up being quite horrible then. Which also means that I probably should go ahead and use these Field of Runes. Or at least one of them while holding up the uh, commit. That's unfortunate. So that's probably going to win them the game. Guess I want them to draw first. Hey, look at dope. What's up, my friend? I also messed this up. I should have left the uh, Field of Runes here untapped. Uh, so I definitely have to ferry. So they just tried to cast it. Doom. Well, we're just going to keep bashing until they decide to kill this stuff. I'll make the same play I did last time. I'm going to go after their black source. Going to commit that? I mean, I have to allow that, right? 
So we are so buried this game. Shuffling away the champion of wits, I realize that. Not super concerned about it. Oops, that's the wrong one. Like I was saying earlier, like we just do not beat these decks pre-board. There's just very little chance we're going to beat these decks pre-board. I guess we're going to take rid of one of the S disallows. No, we're going to get rid of the contempt, I think. I don't really care. The, the counter spells are too redundant. They're going to draw that to fairy here in a little bit, and we're going to be SOL. You can counterspell this if you want. Hopefully they try to do it with a Gear Hulk. Let me know all four cards in their hand still. So they want to shuffle away their own Teferi? Find that a little odd. We're a full minute ahead of me in the clock, so I guess I just need to speed up. Glimmer was a great draw for them. It's probably the best card in their deck while we drew a land that turn. Guess I'll hold this one. Actually, I won't. So let's me play a Contempt and Double Scatter in case they have like a negate and something. Well, we got the play set going on. In a match that we don't want to draw any of them, we'll probably sideboard out all but like one or two of them. Oh, we're pretty SOL here. That's the third Glimmer, and they put two both on top this time. It's just not things that we're going to be able to beat. Probably have a Teferi now. Wait, what was that? Oh, Hieroglyphic. So this is our fourth draw two of the game.
So I'll go ahead and play the land because I'm hoping to be able to actually resolve a commit at some point. Which may not be too hard since they've already played three of their disallows. Oh, sorry, they've only played two. My bad. Don't care if they counterspell this. Uh, yes, I'm going to activate it because we might get more champions to put in their graveyard. Uh, let's try to get one of their gear hulks removed from the game. That way, in case we commit, we've dealt with three gear hulks and one Teferi they can never get back. There's another gear hulk. I think that's right, isn't it? No, it's just two two gear hooks, I guess. I thought we dealt the third one. Anyway, this is their fourth draw too. You guys can about math the odds of us winning when they have four draw twos. You can pretty much do the math on your own on that one. Go ahead and block now before they just like have a random removal spell or something for it. Maybe they'll let this resolve. I assumed not too far ahead. Is this syncopate? Sure. We're now ahead on the clock. That one's not going to resolve. But we're going to obviously try to resolve them both anyway. Don't really care if he counterspells it. Or contempts it, or whatever he has. None of that's too concerning for me. <clears throat> Double removal spell kind of sucks, but they are down to one counterspell now, so if they just hit a land or two over the next couple turns and we hit like a champion of wits, we're probably in the lead again. Well, not in the lead, I mean... Probably in a spot where they might have to memory. But they did not hit a land, they hit a spell. I'd rather get their counter spell than their gear hulk. I'm not worried about their gear hulk. I think there's a better chance that you use a counterspell on it if I target them and not the Gear Hulk was the main reason I did that. I want the counterspell out of their hand. I have one disallow. Oh, never mind. We might not have saw that disallow. Scarab God? Sir Choops? Are you our hero? Alright, so that's their fourth disallow. So now let's straight... Oh. Gonna play this, in case he uses commit. They did use commit. 
feel like that'll be better for us than them. They have two Gear Hulks, one Teferi in their entire deck. And they hit the Teferi. We didn't have any counter spellers, so there was no reason for us to cycle or anything there. However, there is plenty of reason for us to cycle now. Alright, well we have a land drop, so we're going to cycle this one as well. We'll try to find some of our contempts. They had one Teferi, by the way. They hit it. We have four contempts. We hit none. Just fun. So I can kind of win with just this, but that's okay. I kind of want them to use counter spells and stuff, so. Let's see what they want to counter spell. At some point, they're going to use a sink of eight. Could have saved that one to last, I guess. Like how I've clicked it multiple times. Well, we have three creatures free to deal with. All three can kill your Teferi. You have one gear hook left in your deck. So if I kill that Teferi, you have to beat me with one gear hook. Doesn't seem easy. Oh, never mind. I guess they're playing three Teferis. So I'm just wrong. As usual. Just usual wrong. I got they still have four cards in their hand. But that's okay. They're definitely going to be counterspelling stuff here in a second. Go ahead and start with that. Playing this one first because there's a good chance that they're just going to counterspell it and then we're going to try to resolve the Liliana. Oh wow. It's just like a syncopate for a million? Sure. Yeah, well, we're getting smashed. But like I, like I said earlier, like, game one versus control decks feel nearly unwinnable to begin with. I don't think he's in that good of a shape, though. Like, all we gotta do is hit some contempts. We probably win. Assuming we do them relatively soon. Guess I'll hold that one in case we do draw champion. It's getting pretty close to winning with this though. If he ultimates it, we won't make him waste the time unless he's like really low on cards uh, when it happens. Like if he's only got like five or six cards left, we may would make him, or if we kill his Gear Hulk, we would make him, potentially. But 
But the odds of us... Well, first of all, we have to draw Vraska's Contempt here and resolve it. And that's just not going to happen. It's not going to resolve even if we do draw it. We'll thin our deck out a little bit. Get a little more information on what type of lands he's working with. It looks like he's got eight. At least. Oops, I was trying to cast the back end of it. I have negate, I guess. Pretty sure I'm conceding, but I want to look at one more draw step. Can't think of anything that would make me play, but like, since they only have this one Teferi, they can't lock us out of the game with just a Teferi. So Teferi itself is not a hard lock here. Like, they've gone through three Teferis, and I assume that they have no way to, uh... I assume that they have no way to recur to the Teferis at this point. Therefore, if he messes up and plays a Gear Hulk at the wrong time and doesn't have a counter spell, we could still just win. So that's what I'm going to play towards. When he when he gets us below four lands, however he does it, we'll concede at that point. But as of right now, he could still have user error and lose this game. Or like his uh, his gear hole could literally be the bottom card of his library or something. Any of those things would let us technically win the game, so we're just going to play to him. Or we could just draw, you know, like five or six lands in a row and then he can't get us off the lands, potentially. The, the odds of winning, by the way, are minuscule at this point. I just think it would be bad to concede into theoretical outs. And there, he might only have three gear hooks in his deck, too. We don't know that he has a fourth, right? Like, he may literally not be able to win the game from here. We don't know. We've not hit a land... Or we're not hitting lands on these draw steps at all, which is unfortunate. just play that but i'm not going to we literally we obviously can't deal damage to him at this point it's just will he play a gear hulk or does he have the gear hulk and all of that so we're not playing to like try to time him out or anything like i don't know his deck construction Yeah, looks like he does have gear hulks. Well, let's see if we can kill it. So he's going to kill three of our lands this turn. We maybe can draw land and play the... Oh, 
Um, maybe we can draw land and play the Chupacabra, but if we miss on even playing the Chupacabra, we're going to straight concede. And there's very little chance... Oh, wait. What did he do? Oh, he cycled some things. Alright, we'll concede. I don't care about like trying to time him out. Like, we had a theoretical way to win the game, and we wanted to play to our outs. Like, his gear hole could have been the bottom of his library or whatever. Um, the mana's really awkward. It's got, like, a lot of coming to play tap lands. It's got double black spells, double blue spells. You often don't have the mana. Um, and you can just draw the wrong half of your deck. Anytime you're playing a counter spell deck, and, like, they get a couple of threats on the table, and you just draw a bunch of counter spells and don't draw your removal, you lose. Or vice versa. You draw a bunch of removal and not a bunch of counter spells, and they just hit, like, a bunch of, like, Chandra's and stuff, or... Uh, or Scrappy Scroungers, you're just going to lose. It's a fairly strong deck, but the biggest problem with the Esper Control deck is this card right here is a terrible magic card. Like, it is just not good in this format. It's bad versus the other control decks. It's bad versus all of the red-black decks. It's only good versus, like, mono-red, and it's only good versus, like, the green mid-range decks and, like, the blue-black mid-range decks. So, like... If, if the red decks and the Esper decks and the blue-white decks are over 50% of the format, which they have been in day twos of GPs, why do you want four Torrential Gearhulks in your main deck? Um, it's good if you just rate its effect. It's bad that one of the power of the control decks is it makes your opponent's cards bad. So, like, in my deck, it gives me targets for Snapcaster Mages. It gives me targets for Cast Downs. It gives me targets for Chupacabras. So you're playing a deck that's making my spells be relevant. Or you're playing a card that makes my spells be relevant. When in a control deck, you want me to have as many dead spells as you can. When you're playing versus the red-black decks, you're making their abrades live. You're making their murder boats live. So on and so forth. Like Again, you want to make sure I have as many dead cards as I possibly can have. So that, that's the big difference in those decks. Anyway, we need to sideboard. We're running out of time. Definitely going to bring in these. Definitely going to bring in this. We're going to get rid of most of our removal spell. But that, but that's why the card's just like kind of bad. Um, uh, actually, we'll bring in my gear hooks here because I think I'm a better scavenging god or uh, scarab god deck than he is. He probably only has one, and being able to like. Uh, get a negate or get it get a bro back is like pretty good we want all of our two drops we want all of our champions we're probably able to get rid of something have to be able to get rid of something obviously maybe it's just essence scatter yeah, it's just essence scatter um i don't know how but i'm willing to try maybe this will work no wait that's i don't i don't know what i just clicked try maybe this will work Anyway, we'll uh, pop it up. This hand's just the clearest of keeps. Let me know. Let me know if it's a little bit better. Like my mic's pretty, pretty medium. I have two headsets that I use. Um, I don't. One of them was a Christmas gift, so I can't tell you like what kind of quality and stuff it is. I like it. It's pretty good. And the other was like a twenty dollar thing I got from Walmart. So. Like it's all I have. I don't. I don't have a big fancy setup like a bunch of streamers do. I just got. Just got my things. I like my things though. Like my things are sweet. So I apologize if it's distorting. I I never hear the distortion when I'm like checking my videos and stuff. But like I, I take you at your word. Of course, I'm not saying that you're a, a filthy scavenger or anything. I don't, I don't, I don't know what those words mean. Like everything you're saying is over my head. I am, I'm practically computer illiterate. So you're saying it's still distorts. I, I am, I am practically computer illiterate. I was hoping we'd hit the land when we had the champion in our hand. By the way, thank you, Corey. I do use OBS, yes, which is what I just messed with. Hieroglyphic and a card that I'm not going to let resolve, so.
get rid of the hieroglyphic. It's kind of interesting that he left her forsake the world, Lynn. What was he expecting from me? You can do it, Deck. Land. Land. Yay. So even if he has to land, it can bounce it now. We can finish it off and play the other. I guess he could cycle and hit an essence scatter. That would be unfortunate, wouldn't it? Yeah, I use OBS. I need to upgrade to the one that Gabby gave the video on. I think I think it's pretty decent. It's kind of like a free row. But I'm gonna keep playing my lands here. Definitely going to attack this Teferi. So even if they have a way to kill this particular Scarab God, any land we draw lets us bring back that champion. Alright, they're done. Well, game 2 is a lot easier than game 1. Now, I really wish I knew how to do stuff like that. Uh, I, could make, I could make the stream so much prettier if I did. I don't know if I want Spyglass in this match. It's good versus Teferi, and, like, looking at their hands, like, obviously powerful, but, um, I typically don't have enough things to go with it. Eh, I'm just going to run it back. Kind of want another Contempt, but whatever. I'm just going to do this. And smash. The Hulkity Smash. Oh, this hand's great as well. Pretty excited to get to keep it. I kind of like how I call a hand great. That's like obviously like kind of awkward. Cool. The second gear hook when we don't have a counter spell yet. I don't have that many though. I kind of want to Jace's defeat in the sideboard over to Confiscation Coup. Please don't have it. They did. That's unfortunate. Well, next turn we get to try to whip. Please don't have a sink of bait. Oh gosh. Well, I think we're just going to get rid of two lands in this situation. Could be an argument that I could have dumped the gear hulk here, but in three draw steps, I assume we're gonna have another land. What? I thought I thought the camera quality was great. What are you talking about? I know James is wanting to Memphis really bad. Probably gonna counterspell this if he has a Teferi, which makes me sad. Ooh, commit. Not happy about it being commit. Because now if we don't hit the land, we're gonna have a problem. Well, we did hit the land, so at least we have that going for us. We're going to try to kill that before we attack, because if we fail, we're going to attack him. Or, sorry, if, we, if he, like, had a negate, we were going to attack that. That is really nice. I have I asked Corey to do my work for me, because I'm a, I'm a fiend. Kind of want to play a Gear Hulk at the end of his turn, but at this point, the Gear Hulks just get just get wrecked by that Essence Scatter. Yes, that's going to resolve. His gear hook's just going to be too good here. I 
So we don't have anything to really spend our gear hulks on. What are they targeting? Memory, so... Let's get rid of one of his gear hulks. <laughs> yeah, I had I had low key looked at the price for that one, and the best I found was fifty nine ninety five or whatever. But like none had sold, so I didn't know if that was an accurate asking point when none had sold. We drew a pretty good hand, but a hand that could have problems versus a lot of cards. I do like our spot though. Would have really liked to draw on one more contempt here, but other than that, I'm pretty happy where we got from that. I'm just a little afraid of Teferi at this point. Just a little afraid of Teferi. So I'm, they'll probably have contempt here, which means I actually get to resolve something, which is nice. Alright, let's start with this. Let's see what we hit. We hit one of his contempts. I th think that I'm pretty okay just like clearing his board and continuing to play right now. We should have time for our Champion of Wits and stuff later. So that's two Teferis and one Gear Hulk. Now let's start with a Duress. Alright. A second with a champion, then. Right, well, we're definitely going to dump both of those, and then we're going to dress again. Yeah, let's just play some creatures. Hmm. Maybe I should have played the land before I did this attack. That one's interesting. We're certainly going to play it. Not going to use this negate. This negate saved for for things that I consider relevant. Two field of rune, so that's not the end of the world. I'm certainly not going to use the negate on it when we have the uh, double field in our hand. Attack before we play this, just in case he has a gear hulk to make him lose some value off of it. And I'll we'll play this. If he's got a gear hulk and a counter spell, I'd be a little sad. If he doesn't have a gear hulk or a removal spell here, I think it's going to be really hard for him to crawl back from this board. I won't say impossible, but I do think it'll be difficult. 
But like I was saying earlier, like game one versus control, I expect it to be extremely tough for us, but I really like the sideboard plans this deck can put on a control match. And if they whiff on this Ascanta, I just don't think they can win. Chase's Defeat's actually a good card here. Or... It's Teferi. I think I want to counterspell it. Make him use his Chase's Defeat and then make him decide whether he's getting rid of one of these or whether he's ticking up. Probably getting rid of this, which means this Teferi might die. Could tick it up, though. I guess his last card could be a removal spell, or he could draw a removal spell. So, target opponent. We see their hand, and they lose something. They're done. They don't even want us to see their hand. So based on their hand, we've decided whether we were smashing. I mean, it's a gorgeous playmat. I'm not saying it's not gorgeous. We're talking about the GP Memphis playmat for anybody who's watching on that can't see. Like El Elvis Presley or Elvish Presley is kind of sweet. It's definitely one of the ones that I considered keeping out of that collection, but <laughs> spent five hundred dollars the last two two weeks on things to resell. I think at this point I'd better not keep anything, except my little leprechaun. That thing's still mine. We has an opponent. Play first. Um, hands are good. Pretty good. Not going to complain about this hand. Corey said my pitchers are bad, but I thought my pitchers were great. I think, I don't think I sent it to you, but the Leprechaun was my favorite in the bunch. Um, probably the Judge play mat second. And maybe Memphis third. I think that might have been how I would order them. I'm willing to take one point of damage here to see if we can essence scatter a Kari Zev. Spoiler, we could not, so we took a point of damage for nothing. Can counterspell the next threat though, if it's not something that we can choop anyway. I guess we can choop that so it will survive. Ooh, back to back choops. That's kind of nice. So, Phoenix is the card that I'm most scared about right now. I almost didn't choop that because of Phoenix. Oh. I don't care too much about that. Definitely willing just to take the pain here. I think that was my ordering. And if you can't kill this, this will win the game, so I'm pretty happy with this. I can come close to picking up the cards if you can't kill this. Because he could have exactly Hazard and like still be in the game, but... I think we'd probably be able to stall long enough to hit a Contempt. Hey, Noble Murloc, with the sweetest emote on Twitch. Thank you for the big one. Uh, okay, well that's a problem. I guess I have to block this one now. Um, I guess we have to take the five. All right, well, we have to find a Contempt, and we have to find it relatively quickly. Just 
gonna try to block with like his chain whirler or something. That was worst case, of course. Try to block with a non-haste threat. And if they have a deal three to us, like if they have a lightning strike, we can't win this race without a contempt. Sure. Oh, that was a good one. Can't wait to get that one back. Um, well, I'm definitely going to get this one back this turn. It's the one that doesn't have haste. We need to survive one more turn. Contempt? That's not a contempt. It's the second creature I can play, though. I don't need a second creature. I just need lands, of course. But we have to take this one. Because we can't let him get it back. Two burn spells also kill us. But we have to play for the win. Oh, well, lightning strike kills us, but... Doesn't have a lightning strike. He's going to die. I guess a braid. A braid keeps him alive too, doesn't it? Um, that would lose the, like, and crash cropper and stuff, right? And this won't have, uh, a thing. Or it would lose the goblin chain whirler as well, wouldn't it? Or, like, even a shock just to kill my 2-1? When like th this was a this was a pretty clean kill as long as he didn't have lightning strike, without any risk. Um, sideboarding versus this deck, I always find it kind of difficult because I like think this card's kind of good here. I think these are kind of good here. I think this is kind of good here. I actually think these are kind of good here, but, like, the problem with, like, all these negates and duresses is, like, if I'm taking turn one to duress and not fatal push and so on and so forth, but, like, like, the creatures are the biggest problem. I'm going to get rid of all of the X ones because I don't want him to get any additional chain whirler value. Bloodfast is arguable. Like, being able to gain five life a turn can just, like, put a game away, but, like, how often does it happen? I can definitely see that being reasonable. I don't actually think the Liliana is particularly good. Um, Gearhook seems okay in this match, but I don't know if we have enough time to get to it. Especially without Gearhulk. Or without Gearhulks. I kind of feel like this is good versus red. Maybe this isn't so good in this match. Confiscation coup steals Hazret, but do I care about stealing Hazret when I'm already playing Contempts and Doomfalls like that? Kind of seems like just overkill to me. 
I think I'd rather have Confiscation Coup versus like Glory Bringers and stuff. Hey George, what it is my friend. Hope everything is going lovely for you. Just sitting here grinding us a little blue black mid. Thank you for the host as well. When are you going to start streaming something? I'm looking for somebody to stream Breath of Fire, old Super NES games, all the way through. Start to finish. I want all the Breath of Fire in my life. I want, I want walk through, throughs. Throughs? Yeah, I can't speak. So this hand's pretty good. Again, we have Scarab, we have Double Removal, and we have an Essence Scatter. Can't be too upset with this hand. That's what I want. I see some occasionally that like stream it, but I never see them that like stream it at a convenient time. I hold up the essence scatter because just counterspelling things is fun. No, he doesn't have things to counterspell. That's confusing. Does he just have like six burn spells in his hand or something? I don't know. Let's find out. Wizard boat my face like a boss. Oh wow, they have nothing but a hazard. If they have nothing but a hazard, we're going to play this because the Doomfall can take the hazard out. Oh, that was a. That was a new mountain they drew too. None of those mountains were the ones that he'd showed us. So he's got three mountains currently in hand, so the like 20-ish land deck has drawn seven lands. That's pretty rough. Got a feeling that they'll concede if they don't hit this turn, and they did. Well, game two went pretty quick. Boom, it's time to get out of the way. I need to learn how to stream those games on my computer. I would stream them. We'll play first. Uh, this is on the like the lower side of hands I'd keep, but since we can cycle one of these lands and we have a two drop and we have a good removal spell, I think I'll go ahead and keep it. If none of these lands cycled, I probably would not keep this hand on the play. Ooh, that's a good one. Immediately get sad that... Uh, we can't cycle any of our things. So we're playing the green white deck. Hmm. Think I'll play this one and I'm just gonna hold back with the gifted, I guess. Though that could be wrong. I feel like it's okay. It might make them waste like a Ixalan's Binding or something. Or like even a Thopter Arrest. We'll snap block the Brontodon if given the opportunity. Another land. Well, we've not drawn a spell this game until just then, and we drew the best spell in our deck. Unfortunately, um, their deck's full of like cast outs and stuff like that, so the first Scarab God's generally never good. They also have some of the bigger Johnnies. Mm. That one's a good one. Ooh, 
Go ahead and smash that. And now we'll uh, we'll close our eyes and hope that we get through the end of the turn with a scarab god in play. My eyes are closed. I'm just I'm just like peeking over here to where it says it's my turn. Oh no! I'm just gonna look at chat. Chat will tell me how sad I am. Oh, scarab god, be be good. Rip. Well, this doesn't do anything. I guess I could have played it in hopes that they don't have a creature, but they missed a land drop, so everything in their hands is going to be creatures, right? This cast down, not being able to destroy a target legend, is going to make me sad. Going to make me sad. Whoops. wonder if it was ever worth casting down this just to stop them from playing Walking Ballista. Yeah, another land would not hurt. Would not mind the knife land. You're a plentiful voice. This deck has a bunch of blossoming defenses and stuff in it as well. The cast down can't be used on this, which is fun. It's going to be a hard one. I think we can pretty well concede, but I guess we won't. For posterity's sake. Boom. That's right. I'm not even bluffing Fatal Push because it doesn't matter you have a Shalai in play. Maybe I jumped the gun on this way too early, but like we had no action at all. Your choice of lands is nice. Yeah, that's blacked out for some reason. Oh! Alright. Well. We're gonna get to draw an extra card before we die. That's fun. <laughs> okay, it's just two more lands. Sure. Unless I'm mistaken, we only drew two non-land spells in that entire uh, eight-turn game past our opening hand, but maybe I missed something. No, I think we drew a... No? Yeah, I think we drew a third. So I think we drew three spells, five lands or something. It doesn't matter, but it's just trying to think. Um, cast sounds probably not great here. Gaunties are actually probably pretty good here. Couldn't remember if the cast down was in our opening hand or if we drew it. I know we had... Uh, we drew the cast down as well, I think. Um... Hmm. Kind of want negates because they play like a bunch of harvesters or johnnies and things of that nature. Not sure about this card. I'm going to shave a couple of these. I don't think they attack very aggressively early. Hmm. What's this look like? So you're a threes and you're a four. Oh. Kind of really just like you versus green decks in general. I 
really don't know what the sideboard. Could bring this in. I should have a lot of targets for it. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, this hand's great. It's about everything we want. Wouldn't mind a land that comes into play untapped for turn three, but we get uh, three draw steps to try to find it. Well, three draw steps assuming that the uh, Gifted Everborn doesn't like me to baffling end or something. But we found it already in one, which is nice. Not me to baffling end. Put one of those in the graveyard and I think I'm gonna put one of these in the graveyard. I'm just gonna put that one in the graveyard. I want all my lands right now. Ooh, that's a good one. Drat. Let's see what you think about it then. So, no Sky Sovereign would be nice. I wonder if I'm supposed to keep Fatal Pushes. I kind of forgot that they have Servants. Congrats. They had the Sky Sovereign. Uh, that just like crushes everything we want to try. Getting off sweet. Like we're just so far behind this game. Servant took all of our initiative away. Maybe, maybe Fatal Push is correct. And that one's just great here. Someone gifted me a Conley sub. Oh, by the way, sup, Smurf? Well, at least now we know they don't have Blossoming Defense to worry about. So at least that's something. Could kill this and play this and hope, but that doesn't seem good enough. I think the plan is just to get lucky with the torrential here. But sometimes, brother, you just gotta dance. Like there's no tomorrow. Please attack me if a sky sovereign, sir. This green white deck has comically beat us. Like, these games were not even close.
Hmm. Well, that wrecks us. So now we have to find yet another contempt. I guess we'd have a chance if we drew an essence scatter so they couldn't crew to bro again. Hmm. Well, guess what, fam? We dead if he can crew, so we're going to pretend like all three cards in his hand or whatever are Lyra's and that he's not going to draw a land. That seems fair, right? Wasn't really anything we could even bluff. Just hope somehow he can't crew. Like, maybe he's got a couple of Lyros, maybe he's got a couple of Johnnies, maybe he's got another Sky Sovereign, or maybe we're just dead. Well, that was pretty easy. Alright, well, we gotta win one out of the next two to acquire a pity chest. Boom. Uh, we will play first. Ship it. Looks like our luck is turning. Alright, whatever. I'll keep it. I'm not going to mulligan it. So we were running pretty hot, now it looks like we're running pretty cold. I'll keep that too and hope that uh, Mono Black can win. Like we can cast it, so might as well keep it. Hey Roby. Roby one Kenobi. Oh, mono red? Sure. This hand looks great versus mono red. Can't wait to uh, cast Doomfall on him and make him exile like some irrelevant creature. I guess I can't target his hand. Targeting his hand just gets me killed at this point. I'm too far behind. Hey, Dong, what's up, man? <laughs> Gotta prevent this one or two point of damage, whichever it happens to be. Conley Dance. Got a dance actor's no tomorrow though, don't forget that part. So I'm gonna use this to clear the board because this Doomfall can kill a Hazard or a Phoenix if that's what his next turn is.
Oh, wow. He had all mountains in a braid. We actually have a chance this game. Less of a chance if he's casting spells, but we have a chance. Um, I'll target his hand with this? Because what he has in play isn't scary? Could just play both the champion and the gifted here as well. That doesn't seem good. I think I'm just going to kill this creature and be going about my day. I could have played this turn in like three different ways, and I'm not sure which one's technically right. Like, I could have cast both my creatures, I could have cast the Gifted and hit this, or the Gifted and Doomfall his hand. Like, I had three pretty good options there. I really just don't know which one's right. And then the Champion of Wits, if we cast it first, could have changed options as well. I kind of like this one, because I think it's the one that's slightly better versus Hazret. Um, it's a rough one. Because this gets so wrecked if he has another Goblin Chain Whirler. But it's the only way to get us a blue mana back. This is about the easiest block I've ever had. Not blocking next turn, so I guess I'm attacking both this turn. Hey, Elijah, what's up? Just like gave me a mana they didn't have to give me? Alright, we'll play this. If we draw an island or a drown catacomb next turn, we can buy our champion back. Alright. Scarab God one time? Yeah, acceptable. Dominaria is supposedly a really good limited set, so it sounds like you've probably made a pretty good choice timing-wise. Core 19's got, uh, <laughs> they brought Scape Shift back. <laughs> That's mind-boggling. 100% blocking if he attacks. Like, that's not even a question. Have you played any constructed or just been doing the limited grind? Yeah, but those those modern reprints are going to go down so much in price. I don't care if he's got a removal spell that lets him kill the champion. I would rather him throw, you know, kill a champion and get a two for one or some craziness than uh, hit my head with like a lightning strike here.
Now this one does give me a little pause. So I don't really want to give up the gifted for nothing, but we do have one essence scatter in our hand, so I think it's okay. That's fair. Yeah, but how long will it be money, right? Like, isn't it going to just be like a $10 to $15 card when it gets reprinted? I pulled mine out of uh, a box today and thought about selling it, and then I was too lazy. I didn't know whether I wanted to call it moderately played or lightly played, so I was just like, eh. I, I don't think it'll be close to 60% in a non-playable term, and I don't think it'll be playable in standard, so... But I could be wrong about that. I can't believe we won this game, by the way. I don't think there's anything he could have now to stop us from winning. I do hope to. Hit, I would not mind to hit a Russian foil one, though. I'm, I'm absolutely mind blown that we won that. So we tried these last time. We were going to try this, and we decided to try these. Is that what we decided, or is that what I decided? I, I don't. I don't know why I always say we, but we, 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 we. I wanted to get rid of the eight X ones, even though they were obviously good there. Maybe, maybe I'm underrating the champion in the match then. Maybe I'm just supposed to want these champions. Maybe having champions isn't the end of the world. I bet you can find that card for like a lot cheaper now. I don't, I don't think they'll be close to that price. But I can be wrong. Like you, you can already start picking them up for like 30 and $40. And that's before the reprint even happens. Like 30 to $45, you can find several copies for sale. You're looking you're gonna be looking at lower than fifty percent of that. Gunty's okay in the match. It's probably better than Liliana. Liliana's probably not good. Um I do not know what the angel is. I also do not know what Alpine Moon is. It's not, it's, it's, it's over a month still, man. We got to I've, I've not saw the angel. Uh, I don't really want these champions. I don't really want to be like flooded on four drops either. Guess I'm just going to submit this. I really just don't want that card. Alpine Moon enters the battlefield. Choose a non-basic land card name. Land your opponent's control with the chosen name. Lose all land types and abilities, and they gain tap to add one colorless mana. That card's okay. Let's just start with this one. So it's just a 3 mana 3-3 three, three that can do things? Seems like kind of on the light side then, doesn't it? Oh, that's a 3-3. Three, three. I thought that thing cost 6 mana when I read it earlier. That card's a lot better than I thought it was. I thought that card cost 6 mana. A 6 mana, I think that card would be terrible.
But it is not six mana. I was just foolish. That card is certainly playable then. So we have a cast down for a harvester. We have a scatter for a big fret. We are stoned to Chandra's at the moment. Yeah, I just misread it. I was half asleep today when it was linked to me. So we're going to take three here. They're down to two cards. Wouldn't mind a draw. A not a Scarab God, but uh, well, I wouldn't mind to draw a Scarab God. Right. Well, he forgot to attack. Let's just pretend we're at 14 in case it matters. Don't want to win because somebody made a misclick. I'm going to link that with Crescent Sun Mares, baby. You just wait. Crested Sun Mares are the truth. Actually, bought 13 Crested Sun Mares today. No, 12. I think it was 12. Yeah, I bought 12 Crested Sun Mares today, or Crested, or Crested, whatever you want to call them. He might not have been. He didn't activate it that turn. He may not have activated it last turn either. Just green, green, white angels, baby. That's a card. Card that I kind of don't want to play. I made a play mistake there. I should have played my land afterwards because I may have wanted this effort hub. I don't know why I would since I sideboarded out the glints, but whatever. Um, I want my six mana, so I'm just actually just going to get rid of the one thing here. Let's go ahead and play this, see what they have. That's a hazard. Maybe they have a shock in their hand. They're trying to decide which one's better to kill. I'm not sure. Yeah, they did have a shock. Wow. That's a weird one to pick. I'm actually going to do this now, I think. See if we can race. I went ahead and did it now because I didn't want them to be able to like lower my Gear Hulk's toughness. I wanted to be able to block. Because, like, if they had a shock, they could have made this thing uh, a 3-4, and then this thing couldn't, it couldn't block this anymore. And I want this to be able to block this as much as possible. That's why I chose that line. I don't know if I chose correctly, of course, but that was the thought process behind how I did it. Don't, don't know if it was right. That was just a thought process. Don't care if he kills this now. 
Like, easily just still just block here. If he has a thing, he's got a thing. It doesn't matter because Scarab God can bring it back if we ever need it. He probably should go ahead and cycle this now because he's got a Chain Whirler in his graveyard, so. Alright, well, let us acquire this one. Um, I guess we can put a gear hook in our graveyard for the buying of the backs. Put it on top of our library. Um, I guess I'm supposed to pass this turn again. Uh, I had one counter in my graveyard, but like he could he could draw. There's not a whole lot of creatures I care if I counter spell in this spot. Only rekindling phoenixes and glory bringers, and then like he could have a braid, any burn spell, or Chandra that's better to get the soul scar mage off the table. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. No, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I could easily be wrong. That's just what was going through my mind at the time. So now if they even have creatures, we have Gear Hulk Essence Scatter. Imagine if Gutter Snap was also a wizard. How ridiculous would that be? Yeah, well, I guess I want to get this one back. I'm not saying I'm right at all. I'm just like saying what went through my mind when I made the play. So this puts counters on all of his bros. Which gets rid of the Beaumont Courier. Whoops! I messed up. I was supposed to deal another point of damage to him there. I don't think it matters, but I was supposed to. Whoops. Moto move my stuff. Think we can attack now? New question. Is there a way to increase graveyard card size? I have a huge monitor and they look small to me. Well, you can do things like this. And like change it around much, but like it, do it, doesn't, it doesn't really help too much. But you can always do the, um, like, pop it out, and then, like, bring it. But so it just doesn't ever really do much, unfortunately, that I know how. You can hover over your cards, though, one by one, and just, like, click them with your mouse, and, like, they, they get bigger. You can do that to make that bigger, but I don't think it works with, like, the graveyards or any of the other things. I've... I've never saw a way for it to. I'm not saying it doesn't. You can make your hand bigger, but that's and your like board bigger, but that's the only ones I know how. But, like you can move it around a little bit, but that's just about it that I can tell. <laughs> yeah, that scarab god went nutty. Hey, we want a pity chest. That's the first time we've won a chest in days. Let's see if we can do a little bit better and get this sweet four one. Getting a 4 1 would feel great.
texting up a storm over here. A Scarab God, still a good magic card. Who would have guessed? All right, let's get this 4-1. We were not even competitive in the game we lost. We just got mauled in the game we lost. Uh, I think this hand's a keep. It's definitely on the weaker side of hands, but I think it's a keep. I'm going to leave it for Swamp in case we draw a Drown Catacomb. I know Jabberwocky and Matthew Folk, some people have had success with that mono black deck. I have had no success with mono black, no matter how much I've tried. I actually think I punted there. I think it was probably better that I just play Gifted Efferborn out that turn. I think it was probably a large mistake that I didn't. I don't, I don't know who that is. I think I made a large mistake not putting Neferborn on the table turn one. And now I don't want to put it on the table because I can play double spell on another turn if I don't. But like playing this just dies to Chain Whirler, so like that feels pretty bad too. No, I'm not sure who Desol Desolator is. Whoops. There are a lot of good decks in Standard. I can't deny that. No, I have not. I'm sorry. That's unfortunate because now we're going to have to use our only Veraska on that. They have Glorybringers in their main deck. We have to kill it though. Hopefully they don't have another uh, powerful four. Like no Hazard, no Chandra please. We can deal with most other cards. That's a hazard. So this game's very likely over unless we draw another contempt. But they are three more in the deck, so. Um, definitely getting rid of one of these and one of these. That way we can start hopefully bringing back, uh, um, champions. But I'm going to keep one removal spell. Just because I feel like I need it. That's unfortunate. Didn't want to take that hit. That's unfortunate as well. It may be able to block and save us a couple points of damage, but I wouldn't count on it. Say there's a real possibility that he's going to have a land and we're going to be at a minimum one life. Wait, why would he do that? He has an Earthshaker Kenra. That seems, that seems like such a medium play. It was like our opponent gave us a chance when we were close to dead. I mean, we're still pretty close to dead, but like, say he bricks off a turn and we hit exactly contempt, like we're still in the game, it feels like. Well, we did not hit, so we are dead.
right, so we've been trying these. They've been working out. We've been trying this. It's been working out. We've been trying these. They've been working out. And this. And we've been cutting a good portion of these. We've been cutting Liliana. And we've been cutting one champion. That's what we've been trying. I don't know if it's right, but it's felt okay. Champion of Wits are like kind of like anemic and sad facing down Crazy Whirler, but just being able to loot and make sure you hit your mana drops is, feels like it's often worth it. Um, we're not we're not putting it in the deck really to draw cards with it. We're putting it in the deck more to be like when when we get a close game state like that, to be able to just gain five life a turn off of a scarab or like every. Uh, chump blocker we can gain life with or every uh thing that he uses a removal spell we can gain life with but like it's less that it's particularly good and more that our side that that i feel like this match is already kind of okay so we don't have as many sideboard slots to it as we probably should uh, in reality i should probably just have like a gaunty and a chain whirler or in a sorry a champion in the deck it's just something we've been trying today it's felt pretty decent so far. Like I've not felt bad about it. Like I've not I've not been upset at all over them. But that's what we're trying it for. Pretty easy scatter. All right, well, we have enough mana now that uh, we can scatter a creature, or next turn we can, like, never a Chandra while holding up mana for a scatter. Or if he doesn't play anything that we care about, we can scatter into just Scarab God, and that's often just enough when they've not dealt damage. All right, so Jerry leaves them in. All right, cool. I don't, I don't feel psycho that psychotic then. Pretty much follow Jerry to the end of the earth. He is good people. And he's good at magic. So being a 20 life and drawing a Scarab God is... Or having a Scarab God in play is like a quality sign. Quality sign. I highly recommend it if given this opportunity versus a red deck. I would block. I just want to Chandra. Or sorry to Phoenix. Uh no, I used Kevin Jones deck the other day. I guess he's going to double kill the Scarab now. We're going to be without it a turn, but that's still fine. Oh, wow. I guess I'll put that on the bottom. I really just want more lands when we know we're getting Scarabs. Like, always just want more lands when we know we're getting a Scarab God. Kevin Jones felt pretty good. I want to try Jadeen's at some point. And I want to try um, Jerry's as well. I just want to try them all because I really like blue-black in general. I think, think these blue-black decks are just good at the moment. Kind of just want to play Scarab God again. It's like pretty hard for him to kill it this turn. 
And next turn I can use the Never on whatever he has plus the Scarab. We have a blocker for Hazret this one turn. Oh wow, cool, we hit Hazret. Smart, smart thinking, Ray. Yeah, I'm, uh, well, he, his his mother got in an accident. Could, uh, that could have something to do with it. Uh, I think we'll get this one back this turn. Definitely putting that on top. So I'm at 20 life. I'm going to completely ignore that card. I'm just going to attack him for 13. Actually, I'm going to be... Super safe. And exert in case he's got a shock. Yeah, you could be. I'm not saying you're wrong. I personally don't know know well enough. Could just be tired, like you say. I mean, he, he put in massive amounts of hours, and he, he's going on a lot of uh, trips lately, you know. He's going to a Grand Prix or two. He's going to uh, a different country. He went to Canada, then he went to New York. Like, I mean, at some point, you just got to take a break. I don't, uh, don't blame him at all if that's what he's doing. I don't think I'm changing anything from the play to the draw. Still just kind of like the match in general. I think Gontis are just a little too slow. Alright, this hand is good enough, I think. We have three removal spells and we have a Scarab God. I think it's everything we want. I mean, it is at a high level, right? Like, any, any, any mentally anguishing game can be hard. Especially if you have to, like, use it to pay bills, you know, where, like, you know, a couple of bad weeks can affect something greatly or whatever. Kind of sad that he had a one drop. Less sad if he's doing that. This is not my black blue list. This is uh, our good friend Misplaced Gingers, or I think they, I think his name is Derek Pack. Um. His list, I think it looks pretty good. I've watched him have a lot of success with it, and I'm a big fan in general. I also want to try J. Dean's, and I want to try Jerry's. All right, well, I guess I just don't want to take more damage, do I? Trying to bait him to use a burn spell. All right, well, he's not using one, so... We have this that we can use on like a Chain Whirler or anything that he plays this turn, so I think this is fine. That's really good for us that he's missing a land. Like even me, like I don't play Magic competitively at all. I just stream, but where I've done it 340 days in a row or whatever, like it's even taken a bit of a toe on me. All right, let's start drawing some cards. I'm totally never drawing a card with that, I don't think. At least not when our hand's this good. Could have drew a card to try to hit a land, but when he's missing a land, I feel like I just have time and there's no reason to make his job easier. 
And now that the Scarab God come down, and we're holding four removal spells in our hand, I'm going to highly assume that's enough, unless he's got, like, a magma spray in his hand and hits a land and gets to, like, double burn this. If he doesn't add anything else to the board and we untap with Scarab, basically we win. All right, a nice little 4-1 with misplaced Ginger's list on the first outing. We were not even competitive in the game we played, but we beat three mono red decks in this league, and beating able, being able to beat three mono red decks says a lot. We also beat the Esper Control deck we played. The only thing we lost to was the Craig Wesco Green White style mid range deck. The deck felt pretty good. I may play this the next time I stream. I may try Esper. And I may try blue white. I really have no idea, considering trying a league with snakes as well. But I don't have access to snakes right now. I'm loaning my buddy my snakes IRL, so might uh, might stick away from that. Only want to try decks right now that that I'm considering playing for my local showdown because I've got to win my showdown. I like play mats. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming out and stopping by and giving us the follows and the watch and stuff um i played mono black a couple weeks ago and i honestly just was not feeling it i, I don't know if i'm playing it wrong or whatever but like didn't uh, didn't work out well for me anyway i guess we're going to host z magic because nobody that plays standard seems to be online right now um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by, and we'll be back sometime. Appreciate it, everybody. What is this little thing beside your face? Battle rat. That's kind of cool. It looks sweet. Anyway, take care, everybody. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, apparently when I copied it, I copied the whole thing and not...